Hi everyone, today I'm going to answer a frequently asked question and that is, as a young engineer, how do I increase my salary? Now as a graduate, your starting salary is going to be pretty low, probably around the 22-23k mark if you're in the UK and outside of London. Most firms will offer an annual pay rise, but that can generally be quite low and it does vary between companies and it varies based on how well the company has performed overall. You can expect an average sort of 2 to 5% increase every year in your salary which in the grand scheme of things isn't that much. In the early stages of your career there are two methods which I recommend. The first being getting your chartership and the second is by moving companies. Once you get chartership there will be a lot of doors open for you as long as you have the experiences to back up your chartership. As a structural engineer in the UK there are two institutions which you can go for. The first being the Institution of Civil Engineers or ICE and the second being the Institution of Structure Engineers, or the iStructi. As a structure engineer, you should be getting a chartership with the iStructi, as it just makes the most sense. However, if we're purely talking about the method to get the quickest boost in salary, and that would be to go with the ICE, because on average, to, to pass your exam with the ICE is around four to five years, compared to about five to seven years with the iStructi. Once you've passed your exam and gotten your chartership status, you should be on track to be a senior engineer. And senior engineers will typically command a salary of upwards from 35K. I would recommend sticking with the same company to complete your chartership, as it can be a bit of a faff to move around and to continue with your chartership. However, if the company you are is really not good and you know, you're not getting the right experiences, then feel free to leave. The second method I propose is to move companies or use the threat of moving companies to get a higher pay rise. Generally, leaving companies will yield the highest boost in salary. However, there are pros to sticking with the same company and using the threat of leaving to leverage a higher salary, although it probably won't be as high as if you straight out left. There are definitely benefits for staying for less money if you are comfortable and happy with the current company you are. Don't just move for the sake of a few grand, you know, in the long scheme of things a couple of grand isn't going to make that much difference. The best sort of time to make a jump to a different company is when you've gained the right experiences but your company is either unwilling to acknowledge that or is just paying you way under market rate. An example would be is if you've gained the necessary skills and experience to be, say, a project engineer, the step up from a graduate, but your current company is not willing to sort of set this in stone by giving you the promotion and giving you the pay rise that you deserve. An easy way to find out what your market value is, is to go onto LinkedIn or other job sites and have a look at roles which you would like to apply for and see what salary ranges they are offering. An alternative would be to go to a recruitment agent tell them your situation and then see what they say. To be honest, this second strategy is probably gonna be applicable for throughout the rest of your career. I wanted to keep this video short and sweet and I hope this gives people who are stuck on a relatively low salary the hope that there are easy methods to gain an increase in your salary. Thanks for listening and see you next time. Please like and subscribe.